My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. This car is BS. But in this case, that's a great thing because BS is in the VIN number and that means it's a real CUDA, not a Barracuda. This is the ultimate, a 1971 CUDA, factory born as you see it, sassy grass green, factory white billboard stripe, factory white interior, numbers match, rotisserie restored, factory air conditioning, documented car. This is the real thing. This is what collectors are uh, in, wanting real bad. Everyone wants this car. Anyway, go to volocars.com. That's where you get all the specs, pricing, photos of this car and a few hundred other collector cars. They're all for sale. But first, join me. We'll go for a spin in a 71 Cuda. How often do you get to do that? Rotisserie. So the bottom's as nice as the top. It is documented with this original build sheet, which has all the codes and numbers on here to verify things. It has the original fender tag still attached. The VIN number on the dash matches the VIN number on the cowl. The VIN numbers are on the engine and transmission. So it's a numbers matching car. Uh, and again, original factory color. Just the way you see it is how this car was born. Uh, underneath, uh, there's plenty of photos on our website. The metal is, it looks new. I mean, it's, it's all the frame rails and floor pans and rockers, all in fantastic condition, all painted this color. And of course, all the components are new and restored. Front ends all rebuilt, the all new brakes, uh, exhaust, uh, the 727 Torque Flight transmission, uh, the rear ends painted gloss black. It even has some of the assembly line markings put back on. So the bottom of the car is new correct exhaust system with the big resonators in the back just the way it should be. Uh, professional body and paint, uh, everything is smooth, all down along the bottoms is smooth, there's not a bubble, there's no cracking, there's no issues, everything fits wonderfully, uh, so it, it's a professional body restoration. Up front the grills, upper and lower are restored, new chrome bumper, uh, the hood fits perfectly square. It's got the sport hood, uh, new hood pins. The gills in the fender are new. Correct antenna is beautiful. All the stainless trim is either new or restored. All the moldings, new windshield, has the sport mirrors. Billboard is a, a big deal. Everyone puts them on. Everyone builds cars to look like this. This is born this way. It hasn't been changed at all. Even the billboard stripe is on the paperwork. The car was born with this big billboard decal. It's got the Magnum style wheels, new trim rings, reproduction, polyglass tires. Uh, trunk is nice and square. Tail panels blacked out on the Cuda. Everything back here looks new. It's an original rear window. Uh, you get some real minor little scratches, but it's nice. Jams are all redone, new weather strips and seals, new sill plates. The whole interior is restored. The dash pads professionally restored. All the side panels, front and back, all the trim, the white headliner, the visors, the cushions in the seats, all excellent condition. So it's a numbers matched 340 motor. 340 Motors, great engine. Just Google it and they, no one says anything bad about it. It's a strong little motor. Uh, it's four barrel. Everything in here is restored. Every component looks new. The wiper motor looks restored. Everything on the firewall looks restored. Uh, and it's all stock. The air cleaner, the manifolds, the valve covers, alternator looks new. Has the Chrysler logo on the radiator and on the overflow bottle. Uh, has the shroud. Um, you know, the, the wiring, the plug wires, uh, some of the air conditioning parts uh, looks new. So completely restored. The clutch fan is new. Everything fits nice. The doors open and close nicely. 
new uh, glove box liner. The console's real nice. Uh, it has a couple of hairline cracks, not even worth mentioning, all the way at the back by the ashtray. And inside the trunk's completely restored. All metal, clean metal. I lifted the mat up. And it's all sprayed green. Uh, the jack assembly is completely restored, mounted where it should be. It's got a matching reproduction uh, for a spare reproduction tire. Um, that's nice to see. When a guy buys that fifth tire, uh, you know he's not being cheap. A new weather strip, the latches are cleaned up. Has the rally gauges, there's no holes, there's nothing broken. The whole dash is in really nice shape. Wood grain steering wheel's real nice. Uh, it's embroidered floor mats. We'll start it up for you. I looked up under the dash, the whole inside of the car was painted green. Uh, all the components were redone up under there. box is raw fiberglass like it should be. Anytime you see a car like this you just assume it's a made-up car or it's a Barracuda or someone's added the billboards. So to have an actual number match documented car like this is rare as hen's teeth. This is genuine investment grade material right here. So this is one case, I can't say it's a no BS car. You want it to have the BS in the VIN number. This is a special piece. The 71 Cuda is the ultimate. Just the grill and the gills and the fenders, the overall look, awesome, awesome car. You don't see them very often. Visit volocars.com while you still have the chance to buy this special car. Plenty of ways on there to contact us. We have shipping, financing, uh, we can help answer any questions about the process, about the car, subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's the best way to see these videos first as they come out. Thanks to everyone who's been watching and come back. We got some more great cars coming.